Okay, so in the first bar we have a D chord, first, second and third finger. Make sure your third finger is near the fret and if you can, try to mute the low E string with your thumb. Then on to B minor, third, little finger, second finger and first finger. And make sure your thumb is not all the way up here, but it's pressing behind the neck. Do not start with your index finger. You really want to make sure you start with your third and little finger. Now B minor is uh, a tricky chord for beginners. If you have trouble with the B minor, there's also an easy B minor you can play. And we're going to play the B minor 7. Coming from the D chord, you can hold your third finger and then it's first finger and third finger. And what you want to do is mute the first string. This is a little bit easier because you can hold your third finger and that way you avoid the dreaded B minor. But if you can, of course, this chord is the one you would prefer to play. On to the E minor, second and third finger. A7, second and third finger. Let's go over the strumming. It's a fairly uh, easy pattern. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And you want to focus on your strumming hands going from D to B minor. You need to keep playing even though it takes a little bit of time to get to the B minor. So you notice there's a slight moment actually in between where there are open strings. As long as you keep playing, it's gonna sound good. And also notice, rather than try to press down all fingers simultaneously, you need to have the correct order. It's third and little finger, second and first. And then lastly we have a short little riff, hammer on, and a pull off, and another pull off. Let's go ahead and play the whole verse. And remember, if the B minor is uh, still a little bit too difficult, you can always play the B minor 7. Let's go. Uh, one, two, three, four. I gave a letter to the postman. He put it in his sack. The next morning, he brought my letter back. First bar of the chorus, we have a G chord. Third, second, and little finger. Onto the A7 though, you want to hold your little finger and then press down your first finger. Then also we have an E chord, second, third, and first finger. And in the last bar of the chorus, there's a little riff. We're going to play the A chord, one strum. Then add your second finger, the third fret, of the low E string. Add your thumb. And lastly, back to the A. And then you can hear there's a little bass line hidden in there. Then you want to play each chord two strums, down, up. Now if that little riff at the end proves just a little bit too difficult, you can also play just one bar of A. It's perfectly fine. Let's play the whole chorus. Here we go, starting from G. A one, two, three, four. Return. 